Hello everyone, um, welcome to the feeding video of my Phytopus regius female, um, the regal jumping spider. She's not very big, she's full grown, she's had uh, two egg sacs so far, the first uh, egg sac, um, none of the babies made it past second instar, um, I don't know what I did wrong with them, but uh, they seem to be eating okay, and next thing I know, uh, they were dying off left and right. Now if you look inside, you can see the two black marks right there and down there. Those are two of her babies from the second egg sac. Uh, I've taken six of oh, yeah. the babies out. And uh, they're in separate containers, uh, four together and two together. So I thought I'd give everybody a quick look at Nikot is her name. Um, see the crickets moving around uh, if you don't have uh, jumping spiders I highly recommend them they're a lot of fun to watch uh, they're not hard to take care of you uh, they are a little bit more maintenance than tarantulas are they eat more often um, I kind of missed her down you can see the water spots on the side I was misting her down with the babies too she doesn't seem to want to move from that spot too well, oh, she's, she, she's interested. She's just sizing up if she can take that cricket down or not, I think. She's taken down plenty of big meals. That cricket's a little bit bigger than what I would normally give her, but we'll see if she uh, makes any kind of move towards it. And if the cricket climbs up a little bit, I'm sure that uh, she'll be a little bit more interested in it. Maybe I can... Get that little bugger to you know, watch a little baby so it doesn't come out. So I'm trying to keep the babies in and film her. And you see there's a little red runner roach in there that I put in. She doesn't seem to care for those much. I don't know why. Uh, she seems to like the crickets more than... She likes anything else. She has fed on a small mealworm once, but uh, her staple diet seems to be the crickets. Need to get some water in her dish. But she's she's calculating whether or not she can take this take this cricket down or not. She wants it. There's no doubt about it. It's funny watching the the jumpers hunt because they they miss so many times. It's actually kind of comical, to be honest with you. It's a uh, it's a treat to see. I'm pretty sure she wants to eat it. I just don't know that she's secure enough, and that may be just a tad bit too big for her. Let's see if we can get that little cricket to come back up. You can see how she moves towards the visual of my stick. Um, they will watch you. If you put your hands in there and move, they will watch your fingers. And I'm not sure if it's... Oh, little baby's trying to get out again. Get back down inside there. Now they do spin a little web. Um, sometimes they'll build a, a hammock to sleep in. She just kind of, there we go. Yeah, she's got it. She did it. Well, the cricket's going to fight a little bit and we'll zoom in some. Now they're so much fun. I think you see if you watch any of my other videos, I have two Phytopus Odyx that... Uh, I have a lot of fun with too. Hoping to catch a, a few more of the species around here in Pennsylvania in the summertime. Uh, we have the, I'm not quite sure the scientific names now, the, uh, like the, called the tiger jumping spider is the common name. And there's another, uh, another jumping spider that I found last year. Uh, it didn't live very long after I caught it, it kind of felt bad, but uh, they are a lot of fun to watch. They're a lot of fun to raise. Um, 
And I'm going to get her taken care of, get some water in her, and uh, close it up before the babies try to get out. So I hope you enjoyed watching Regal Jumping Spider and her meal. And uh, we'll see you soon. Uh, like, subscribe, comment below. I uh, love to read comments. I haven't had too many yet, but uh, I'm looking forward to being able to answer questions and interact with all of you people out there. You can see she's spinning just a little bit of a web there. Uh, they will web a little bit, um, not a lot. So, well, I'm going to close her up before those two babies decide to bolt on me. And, uh, again, have a good day.